In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Once again, we'll um, be using the penitential rite, um, the second penitential rite. Um, and just to go over it real quick, um, I will first say, have mercy on us, O Lord. And the response for all of you will be, for we have sinned against you. Then I will say, show us, O Lord, your mercy. And the response will be, and grant us your salvation. Um, so your two responses will be, for we have sinned against you, and grant us your salvation. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Since uh, today is the feast day of St. Matthias the Apostle, we will now be reciting the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, the beginning from the, bap beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed too. Joseph called Barsabas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. They gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord 
both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of the people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, that the fa As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No, greater, no one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I will no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Oh, I'm sorry, before we begin my homily, um, could I ask someone to please close the uh, back door, please? I know we have the leaf blower um, kind of making a loud noise. Could I ask someone to please close the Thank you very much. Um, so today we celebrate uh, the Feast of St. Matthias. And we kind of heard the story of how Matthias became one of the apostles um, in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. Um, Matthias, is, he's most famously known as the apostle that replaced Judas um, after everything that happened. And Judas committed suicide um, because of his guilt for betraying Jesus. And then, so then they, they needed one more um, because there's only 11 of them. And so we hear that story in the first reading today. And although Matthias was one of the followers, he wasn't one of the main apostles, one of the 12, until this moment. And this just shows, goes to show us that God calls all of us in different ways, in, in different situations, and unexpected too. I'm sure this came as a big shock to Matthias when this happened. Because he was a follower of Jesus, but he was kind of one of, just in the, in the crowds. Um, and I'm sure he was fine with that. I'm sure he, was, he, had some, he had humility, and that's part of the reason why he was chosen. But the same goes for us too. Jesus, God will call us in unexpected situations. He, was, he will call us 
um, to unexpected circumstances, just as he did Matthias, because there is a need there, just as how there was a need to fill the spot of one of the 12 um, apostles that God needed to be filled. There will be moments where, there, where we are, God is calling us to something that is needed, that he wants from us. And it's up to us to always be ready. And even though, even if we're not ready, it's up to us to just trust in the Lord and follow him. In our gospel today, we hear, um, our gospel is actually the, the gospel that we just had this previous Sunday, um, where it speaks of love, of how God's greatest commandment for us is to love one another, to love God and to love one another. And that's the type of heart we must have. And if we have that heart of love, if we do everything with love, then we will be able to answer these unexpected calls from God. That we will, even if we won't be completely ready, we'll be ready to say yes and to trust in our God, wherever he may call us. And Matthias, uh, I'm, I'm wearing red today for my vestment because Matthias ended up um, being killed. Um, he, he became a martyr um, while doing great works for, for Jesus, spreading the, the gospel all across the lands as all the other disciples did. So even where God, might, where God might call us, we'll have difficulties, might have great challenges. But God is calling us for a reason because he knows that whatever work he has for us, whatever calling he has for us, he knows that we can do it. That's why he will be calling you, he will be calling me to wherever he calls. And so today as we reflect um, on our readings, but also on this feast of St. Matthias, um, how he was called, we reflect on how he was called very unexpectedly, but how Matthias was a man of great faith, of great love in his heart. He had great love of God in his heart, and he had great love for others. So much so that he followed the call of God unto his death. And let us remember that we are called to have the same type of devotion and love and faith in our hearts that Matthias did, that Matthias followed Jesus with. And ultimately, we know that Matthias' reward is that he is in heaven now with our Lord Jesus Christ. And we take consolation in knowing that when we follow God the same way that Matthias did, that our reward will also be great, and it will be also that we will be in heaven with our Lord Jesus Christ after our time in this world ends. Please remain seated. Today's Mass is being offered for the special intention of Celia Manahan and for the repose of the soul of Ray Wargo Jr. And for all the mothers uh, living. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching, Therefore, now and forever, for now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, "Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest." You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, like dew so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Now I am Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. It shall under my roof, I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Um, for those joining us through the live stream of the Mass, we will now be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can, cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Um, just a reminder that communion will be distributed for those here physically at the end of Mass instead of by now at the usual time. Um, so I ask that you all please be seated. Thank you.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through blessed, blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.